My daughter, the big shot New York lawyer. You're destined for greatness. Local authorities have ruled the death a homicide and are focusing their investigation on her boyfriend, Logan Eccles. Hello, welcome to What the Flick. I'm Christy, Ben, Matt, Alonzo. These guys have seen the Veronica Mars movie, and did you, did you give them money to their Kickstarter campaign, too? No? Uh, I did not. No. So many, I, many did, though, with yes, why it exists, so the, describe A whole it. lot of money. Okay, so Veronica Mars, based on the television show that I never saw, so I was kind of wondering to see if this movie's gonna work for me, and it kind of does, because it starts with its own previously on, in a way. Uh, anyway, it's 10 years later, and Veronica's living in New York. She's finished law school. She wants to put all that gumshoe stuff behind her, but then her ex-boyfriend Logan is accused of murdering their classmate Carrie, and so she must return to Neptune to crack the case and get sucked back into the maw of her uh, seemingly charming but ultimately corrupt small town. Take a look. Veronica Mars. Look who it is. Most likely to blog and class buzzkill. You are just who I was looking for. Most likely to know where I can find the bar. Gross. So now that you guys have seen this, do you get why the show had its cult following? Oh yeah, no, 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 I get, I, you know, Kristen Bell is great mm -hmm. in this, and I, I've liked her in things, you know, I, I liked her in whatever that road trip movie she did with Dax Shepard oh, last yeah, year. Oh good, I like that. Yeah. I, I didn't love the movie, I liked her no, no, a lot. I mean, I liked their, yeah. I liked them together. She's, you know, I, I actually sort of cited, you know, Gene Arthur and Rosalind Russell in my review because she has this great combo of being really funny, really sexy, and also like she's, you know, she's got moxie, she's got <laughs> spunk, you know, she 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 does dangerous stuff and she puts herself on the line and she talks tough and stands up to people. Um, it's 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 really interesting. And then there's this great, you know, I'm sure over the course of the series you got to know these characters better, but. There's this cool sort of rogues gallery of you know supporting players and and friends and enemies and the people in town and the idiot cops and you know her dad and um, and and the one clunky thing of this movie is that because of people like me who didn't see the show, like a new character will step on screen. They're like, oh hello, so and so exposition exposition exposition. <laughs> but once you get past that, you know, I found this really entertaining. It's funny. It's smart. Uh, the the thrills are thrilling. The mystery is not easy to solve, and it's funny. I. I dug it. Yeah, I like this movie a lot too. I hadn't ever seen the show. I think that people who are concerned about never seeing any of the show, they're going to be just fine here. This movie does a good job of kind of bringing them into that world. Think most people, I mean, most people have no idea it was a show. I mean, I, I mean, I, we do, but I mean, well, I there's, just, it has a very fiercely devoted cult, but yeah, right, which is why it's opening on like 300 screens. But I, I, think. I imagine <laughs> that the overwhelming percentage of people who didn't see the show aren't not going to see the movie because they don't didn't see the show, like to them. It's just a new it's thing just a, just a, heard just of. Just a movie that they don't know. Yeah. Could be, yeah, yeah. it's possible. Yeah, I, you know, I thought this movie did a lot of things right, not the least of which is bringing in viewers who hadn't ever seen it. And it, this is in a somewhat subver subversive way, takes a female character who is juggling relationships between more than one guy mm -hmm. and doesn't come off slutty. Like paints or, or, her like it doesn't slut shame her. Yeah. yeah, doesn't slut shame her. Doesn't doesn't make it seem like oh she's sleeping around. Like she's torn between a couple of different people, and the movie makes that real. And I liked that in this. Um, it's funny, like you said. Like it's it's too. got a lot of um, fun moments. Like the the dialogue is sharp and snappy and delivered. You know, really. Yeah, a quick. lot of banter on this. Yeah, thing, and yeah. and it's all believable. It doesn't sound rehearsed. It sounds very natural. Uh, I don't want to ruin who it is, but excellent cameo at one point oh, in the movie. Oh, a couple of really yeah, good cameos, couple actually. Really yeah, really good cameos. Um, I, I want to see this. I, I like this movie a lot. Yeah. And you no. sold us on it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, again, it's, it's I would say to the audience that's watching, because I don't know how much of our audience is huge fans of this series, take a chance on this movie, because it's really rewarding. Yeah, I mean, I can't say, like, if you didn't like the show, you might not necessarily like the movie, but if you haven't watched the show and you think that's going to be an issue, it won't be. You can still have a great time. Numbers. And I'm glad you said that about her. I, 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 she's, like, this wonderfully non-threatening slash sexy slash, like you said, sort of, you know, spunky. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I gave it a seven and a half. You gave it a seven and a half. Yeah, a seven. Yeah, so a 7.3 for uh, Veronica Mars. Yeah, it's up in the 70s on the tomato meter right now. Bye.